I'm ready. I'm Lynn Christian, and I want to talk about <laughs> how to be a badass. I'm a business coach and life coach, and I work with the innovators, the entrepreneurs, and uh, the inventors. And when I turned 50, they started calling me a badass, and I wanted to know how come. Now, I know it could be something about how Rob's taught me how to lift, but as I got into it, I found out it was more about how I was living. So I took a couple of years, and I actually did an investigation, and I uncovered many ideas about what makes a badass. In fact, there are three things about how we do our work that can make you a badass. So the first sort of work that we want to talk about is bad work. And bad work, it turns out, is a waste of time, a waste of energy. It's mindless, it's pointless. It's kind of like when you finish a conversation with a passive aggressive person and you feel worse and you can't exactly <laughs> tell why. That's bad work. <laughs> bad asses don't do bad work. Now there's also good work. And good work is useful, it's productive, it brings home the bacon. It can keep you busy, it can nudge you to efficiency. Sometimes it's interesting, but come on, sometimes it's mundane. But we do it, even the badasses, because it's profitable. And then there's great work. Now this is where the badasses spend most of their time, because it's meaningful, impactful, finds you in a flow zone, and when you finish it, it inspires, it stretches, and it provokes our audience. And like a badass, it makes a difference. Yeah, so I'm kind of a human performance geek, and I was thinking, you know, that's good, but is there like a badass gene? So back at the ranch, I'm talking to Rob, and comes to find out there's no badass gene. But in my search, it brought me right back to my doorstep, to the concepts that I coach individuals to use. And as it turns out, when you apply these concepts, you can become a badass. So I'm going to share three of those concepts tonight. And the first one is what I call Be True. Because we have muscles and bones and connective tissue, and when we use them and stay structurally aligned, when we use them properly, we can do amazing things with our bodies. Well, it turns out we have a similar alignment system that actually runs through our soul, like a plumb line. Badasses know this, and they turn this plumb line into a personal code of conduct. They're dedicated to it, they're persistent, in trying to align their thoughts, words, and actions as much as is humanly possible to being true to a core value system. And when they do this, they can do amazing things with their lives. So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know the fibers that make up your plumb line? Well, let me give you a sneak peek. For just a moment, envision somebody in your life that you admire, respect, or look up to, and allow this person's image to come to your face, or come to your mind right now. Let their face come to your mind, and do that. Do it right now. Now, still honestly, but quickly, a few of the words to describe how come you hold this person in such high esteem. Go ahead, do it. Whatever the words are that you're holding in your mind, they are tiny pieces of your personal code of conduct even if you don't completely live up to those right now, and even if you're having a hard time believing me. These are threads of the most enlivened, enlarged versions of you. Badasses know this, and they live their lives accordingly. So that's the first concept. The second concept is what I call being strong. And you've kind of noticed how the work in some people's hands can look really effective and authentic, but in somebody else's hands, it looks fake and forced. Well, what gives you an edge? What gives you a chance to beat everybody else in your class? Well, the answer is you have a set of core strengths. Just like your core values, you have some innate strengths. And some of you are endowed with an unwitting ability to bring together what seems like disparate ideas into cohesion. Or you can clear out a pathway. Or some of you even can provide structure and shelter for projects and people. So the last concept is about focus, because badass is focus. You use time management. Sometimes you use project management. Well, excuse me, I got ahead of myself. Badasses use strength finders. <laughs> and they use these books to find out what their strengths are. But you know what? If you do that, you'll just have a blueprint. So what you want to do is you want to have somebody watch you in action. Have somebody check you out. And when you're in action, there are four things to watch for. The first one is if time stands still. Notice, too, if you're excited before the project. 
Notice if when you finish it, you're pumped up. And notice if somebody says, how did you do it? You made that look really, really easy. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is this concept of strengths. Because once you find them, you need to build your life with them. You need to build your work with them. And you need to understand that when you use a strength, it will never, ever, ever leave you feeling weaker. And don't try to turn a weakness into a strength, because that will be futile. Now, let's talk about focus. Because we know how to focus if we're badasses. You use time management, project <coughs> management, talent management, and consistency. Because you've learned that focus often determines who succeeds and who doesn't even show up. And I brought a story to illustrate the point about focus. A power plant was experienced in power leak that cost them $10,000 a week. So they called in a specialist who kicked a few tires, found the leak, drew an X by it, and said, change that gauge. Then she handed the superintendent an invoice for $10,000, and he said, itemize it. She, she said, sure. For $1, I drew an X. For knowing where to put it, $9,999. <laughs> My point about focus. So here's the deal. Every one of us in this room can draw an X. But only the badasses know how to use your time, talent, and energy to make a mark that actually has impact. OK, I've given you a lot of ideas of how to be a badass. So here's the last one. It's a question that you pose to yourself at the end of the day. And it's not, what did I accomplish today? It is, in everything I did, who am I becoming? And I'm hoping you'll say, I'm being more strong, more true, more focused. I'm becoming a badass, damn it. Thank <laughs> you.